Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Those shearing forces can be These things are going to get the yellow. The lower the widest band, they're going to get the yellow. All right, that's even a better, that, that's a better position for the momentous occasion when the two continents meet. Everybody here did a good job. It's been really good. I had a um, lady come from the landlord came here the other day. Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen. Mm -hmm. and he said, out of all the places she sees in the world, he says, you guys love what you do here. And he, seems, he, show, he showed it to her that you guys are just having their fun here, mm -hmm. enjoying this. That's great. Well, we have been. We have been. It's been a fun project. And you, and you guys are part of that reason why. It's been a, you've been a pleasure to work with and for and so forth. So thank you for trying to make it possible. You're welcome. So knowing that this is going to come up pretty soon, that there's going to be lines of people waiting to see this place, not only just to experience the food, but to see the detailing that you've really shown a respect for. How does that make you feel? It's a great feeling. I mean, when I come in here, I'm so proud that we got a location like this, and it's nothing like it. And I think this is one of a kind. I would even say, maybe in the world, probably the best of the best. I don't know how we're going to top this one. This is it. Yeah, this is a beautiful space, but also the food, that's unique in that it's not just a hamburger restaurant. It's something you guys have gone to the next level. Uh, our, our bread is fresh, baked two times a day. Fresh ground beef, never frozen. Freshest toppings we use, out of one head of lettuce, we only use 60% of it. Fresh ripe tomatoes, kosher dill pickles, fresh cut potatoes, hand battered onion rings, 75 varieties of hand spun milkshakes using 17% butter fat. Can't beat it. It's tasty, delicious. <laughs> tasty and delicious. That's what we yeah. like, right? Uh, let me ask you this. From, uh, from without everything you just described, from first looking at the space to deciding this was the space you wanted to gaining the lease and to uh, making all these improvements in the structure so that you mm. could operate here, how many months has it been? How long is that process? I was driving by here around midnight mm -hmm. one day, and I've been looking at this place every every time I came back and it used to be Nuri and the broker that was here that was is a good friend of mine or it's Steve Combs and I saw this place empty one night called him the next day and he talked to the landlord and he says no quick casual place they want an upscale restaurant here we invited the landlord over to Z Burger, got on burgers, fries, shake, and we sold them on the concept. She still didn't buy it. She went back, talked to Mr. Horney, and then I and then the thing that broke the ice here is that ticket booth. I said, I'm gonna use that ticket booth to sell milkshakes. And that's when things started opening up yeah. and this was about a year and a half ago when this yeah. happened okay. and then um, we met with the we got the prices together and we talked about the basement she offered us upstairs she said you want to take upstairs for five thousand extra and we just our, our focus is on first level we don't need anything else and we took the, we had the entire basement for storage and then we got involved with the lawyer and then we wanted to lock this one in place because we knew this place was a hot area. And on our lease, we wrote that no windows, we don't take it. This was one of the things we asked for is these windows. And then we moved one wall and the next wall and, and just tried to open this place up. Even the landlord is amazed of how big and how open it is now. And they couldn't imagine this before. I, I really believe this place is going to do so much for this corner. You know? I mean, you've got so much foot traffic in this neighborhood already. And uh, for eight months of the year, people will be able to congregate in this corner, get shakes, say hi, get burgers, you know, walk around to other businesses, come over from, you know, from the Target and other places across the street. I mean, this is going to be, I really think that this is going to be, you know, one of the focal points of this neighborhood once you guys are I, I, I think you're right. This is, uh, we are, we are, 
banking on this one. I think this one should be a home run. I mean, you've already done it in Tummy Town. I mean, when you go to Tummy Town, you can see people gather in front of Zebra. I mean, you don't see people on the street anyplace else. And the same thing's going to happen. The same thing we had, that problem over there is, was a dead block. And we brought it to life. And uh, me and Muhammad try to do the best we can do. And we always spend a lot of money and a lot of time. And if it's not perfect, we don't settle for that. We keep on doing it and doing it until we get it right. And hopefully this place will get us some good location. So we continue. The line of seas is spending time and working in historic and keeping all these things. I think they will understand that we are serious and we want the best for the building. And they're probably going to take more chances than us. It's a lot of courage, a lot of commitment. It's a great Best of luck to you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.